Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. A mother is keeping her son's memory alive tonight, while one of his killers argues that he himself is too young to die. Austin Myers faces the death penalty for killing 18-year-old Justin Back. Not on your sides, Butler and Warren County reporter Jay Warren spoke to Back's mom, who wants her son's killer to not live another day on Earth. It was January of 2014 when 18-year-old Justin Back, a few weeks from going into the Navy, was brutally stabbed to death by Timothy Mosley. Austin Myers, the one who hatched the plan, held Justin down. After their arrest, Mosley cooperated and got life without parole in exchange for his testimony against Myers. Myers got the death penalty. And now, his attorneys want that sentence overturned. What I'm asking the court to do is to consider the rationale that they used in those cases as to someone who, when they're young, does not have the mental ability or mental maturity to make decisions as an adult would. But Warren County Prosecutor David Fornshell argued that Myers was just as guilty even if he wasn't the one doing the stabbing. Austin Myers made the decision that we're going to convert this into a aggravated robbery and an aggravated murder. Austin Myers is the one who's on video attempting to purchase the initial intended murder weapon. Sandy Cates, Justin Back's mother, worries the focus on Myers means a forgetting of her son. It was very, very hard to sit there and, you know, hear the defense not even say Justin's name, you know, you know, they may say back or, you know, the deceased, you know, well, Justin has a name and Justin was a living person. Justin was an innocent, great living person. Kate says her son and Myers knew each other from middle school and is in favor of the death penalty even if he wasn't the one doing the stabbing. He's just as culpable, if not more, because he chose Justin. He knew Justin. Kate says one of the things people can do to keep her son's memory alive is continue with a pay it forward campaign by doing good for others and then mentioning her son's name. It's Justin living on because I won't let him die in vain. Jay Warren, nine on your side, Lebanon. A decision on whether to overturn Meyer's death penalty conviction will not come anytime soon. That decision is expected to come in about six months.